Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun project for you all to make. I'm going to be showing you how to crochet these really cute modern chunky coasters. Okay, the free pattern can be found on the blog and there's a PDF version also available if you prefer that. Alright, so some of the things that you're going to need to make this project is you're just going to need a bulky cotton yarn. I'm using a cotton ear yarn by Gandit and it's a lovely double twisted cotton yarn but you could also just use two strands of a worsted weight cotton yarn okay i do recommend that you use cotton for these as these are coasters and most likely you're going to be putting something hot on them okay you're also going to need a 8.0 millimeter hook you're going to need a darning needle and a pair of scissors and just for the loop part you're just going to need an extra piece of yarn you can just use some twine or if you have some yarn left over from a project that would work really great all right so let's go ahead and get started okay so to start this pattern you want to chain a total of 12 okay and once you've chained a total of 12 you want to work a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook so one two so go ahead and insert your hook yarn over pull through you should have two loops on your hook yarn over one more time and pull through those last two loops on your hook Okay, and that's how you make a single crochet. All right, now you want to continue making single crochets all along the chain. Okay, so your first row will just be a simple row of single crochets. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will meet you at the end. So I'm here at my end now, and you should have something like this, okay? You're going to see a series of single crochets. All right, so let's go ahead and work rows two and three. Rows two and three are just going to be the granite stitch, okay? So we're just going to be making the granite stitch for rows two and three. So go ahead and chain one, turn our work, okay? So now we're working on the back side, and we're going to create one single crochet in this first stitch right here. Okay, so go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over one more time, and pull through those two loops. All right, so now we want to chain one. We're going to skip this stitch right here, and we're going to make one single crochet in the following stitch. Okay. All right, so you should have something like this. Okay, you're going to have your one single crochet, you're going to have a chain space right here, and one single crochet. Alright, so you want to continue this method till the end of the row. Okay, so just follow along with me. Chain one, skip this stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip this stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip this stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. We should be reaching our end here. Okay, we're gonna skip this stitch and single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so make sure you chain one, skip our stitch and single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. Now we're gonna work row three. So go ahead and chain one turn our work so now we're working back on our front side and we are going to single crochet in this first stitch okay so you should have something that looks like this now you're going to create another single crochet in that chain space from the previous row okay so go ahead and single crochet chain one skip our next single crochet and create a single crochet in that chain space. Okay, so chain one, skip this single crochet, and single crochet in that chain space. 
All right, so continue to do this till the end of the row. And you can just follow along with me. So chain one, skip single crochet, and create a single crochet in that chain space. Chain one, skip the single crochet, and single crochet in that chain space. Okay, so we're just about at the end here. So you should have something that looks like this. All right, and now what we want to do is we want to create one more single crochet in this stitch right here, the last stitch. Okay. All right, so it should look like this. Now, what you want to do for the rest of the pattern is until row nine, you want to continue repeating rows two and three. Okay, so row nine will be a repeat of row three. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will meet you back here. Okay, so I just finished my nine rows. Okay, and you should have something that looks like this now. Okay, you should have a square. <laughs> and now we're just gonna create the loop on top of the coaster, okay? So we're gonna be creating this part right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with that. What you wanna do for the loop is you want to just chain six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, once you've chained six, we are going to attach it to the first single crochet right here. And how we're gonna do that is we're simply gonna be creating a slip stitch. Okay, so go ahead and insert your hook into that first stitch, okay? So I'm inserting my hook in this single crochet stitch from the previous row, okay? So to make a slip stitch, you just wanna insert your hook and we're just gonna yarn over and pull through. And this can be a little tricky, so take your time, okay? There's no rush. All right, and it should look something like this now. Okay. All right, once you have done that, go ahead and take your hook out. Okay, and you wanna go ahead and cut your yarn. And just, you can either do it with your fingers or your hook. Um, with your hook, you would just go like this to finish it off. Okay, and then you can just also use your fingers to pull the yarn through if it's thick yarn like the one I'm using. Okay, and then just simply close it. All right. So now you should have something that looks like this. Okay, now we want to weave in this end and then our starting end. Okay, so when you go to weave this in, I like to weave it in right on the side just so that way this kind of connects and it looks a little bit neater. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and weave this piece in and then I will meet you back here in just a second. Okay, so once we've weaved in our ends, it's time to add some yarn to our loop. Okay, and we're simply just going to be adding yarn just like this and we're gonna be using the invisible knot method for this part. Okay, now you can also just leave it like this um, it looks cute like this too, but I just think that adding the bit of yarn just gives it the perfect finishing touch. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to grab some yarn. Um, twine would also be really cute for this part. Okay, I'm just using some linen yarn that I had left over from a project. And what you want to do is, is you want to take one side of the strand and just put it together with the other one. So it should look like this. Okay, you can have one long strand and then the other sides like this. Okay, you're gonna flip over your coaster so it's facing you like this. And you're gonna put the loop side of the yarn. You're gonna put the loop side on the square part of your coaster. Okay, and you're gonna put the short side on the loop. Okay, and now you're gonna turn it. Okay, all right and you wanna place it right on the loop, hold it with your thumb, and you just wanna go ahead and wrap the yarn, wrap the yarn around the loop, and you wanna wrap it about six to seven times, okay? Just make sure you carefully do it so that the other side is even. Of course, you can always just double check. 
all right and just continue doing that i think i like it like that okay all right once you have this part done you want to make sure you keep your thumb on this side you're going to take this strand the strand that we were wrapping the yarn around the loop you want to go ahead and plop it through the other loop okay just like that so it's going to look like this all right now take your thumb off this part and carefully hold the edge like this and just pull this strand okay then carefully pull the other side to adjust it all right pull this side one more time okay just make sure you use very carefully all right and there you go okay now we just created an invisible knot and so when we turn it over it looks like that Okay, so now all we need to do is just cut the yarn. So grab a pair of scissors and go ahead and cut it. Okay, depending on the yarn that you choose, you could always just work this in as well. I've done that too before. All right, and just cut it. You could even add some glue, okay, just to make sure that it doesn't come off. But it's pretty, it's pretty secure with this little trick. Okay. So now you have a really cute coaster, okay? And you could make a set of four or six and give it to family and friends. That'd be really cute. Or these would also work great for markets. All right, you can make them in all different colors, okay? And, and these projects are perfect because it just uses such little yarn. All right, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget you can find the free pattern on the blog. There's also a PDF version available, okay? And don't forget to subscribe.